Kozak. Yep. Rush has got a squad. He got a squad. Yep. A squad. So, in case you haven't been paying attention, Tadia, the head coach at Russia, decided on their final roster for Tokyo. Final six guys, men's freestyle, yep. Final men's freestyle. Um, there's a couple, of, I don't want to call them surprises, right? But but it's like mm -hmm. they were up in the air at 86. Uh, they were kind of up in the air at 125. Um, as the roster reads right now, it is 57K Goyev. Rashidov at 65, Sitikov at 74, 86 is Nafanov, Nafanov. not Karuglia, yep. 97, as we know, Sadalaev, 125, Kozirev. Now, yep. here's the question, right? There was that question mark at 86. Nafanov wins Russian Nationals. Mm -hmm. uh, Karuglia gets, I guess, a special wrestle-off type of thing. Yeah. Uh, wins that. So they were kind of up in the air. Or were you surprised that they went with Nafanov as opposed to Karuglia? Yeah, a little bit, only because Nafanov and Karugliev, they've been so close, they've wrestled each other so many times, head to head, they've been so close head to head, so it's almost like I would have liked to see them send them to a tournament, kind of see how that plays off, because I think Karugliev is a tougher matchup for Dave. Taylor. There's no, yes. yeah, I mean, yeah. we don't know this for sure, but, but, but th because it was 2018, Nafanov, takes down David in the Uregan, I think it was like the quarters or prelims yeah. or something like that. Yeah, yep, early uh, rounds. Early rounds, and then David just proceeds to bludgeon him with, with folk-style turns, and then eventually <laughs> winds up tech and decking him, right? He, yeah. He teched him and pinned yep. him. Yep, yep, yep. So, so, but Karugliev, on the other hand, in the 2018 World Championships, last time David competed in those World Championships, mm -hmm. man... He gave him every bit of he, what he could handle. He knocked him out, gave him everything to handle, and, and that was a, to get to the world finals, those world semis, and yeah. Taylor ended up coming back and winning that match. But if you give me Nifonov, Krugliev, I'll take Nifonov every All day, day of the week. Every yep. day, yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. I think stylistically he matches up a little bit better with a guy like David. Right. Um, Cozy Rev. Yeah. A little bit. I mean, I know it's your boy. You like him a lot. I like Kozirev. You do? Yeah. He's yep. tough, son of a gun. He's tough. He's, he's young, kind of unproven on the senior level. He made the Euro finals, and he gave, you know, he, he was outmatched by Taha. Sure. But, man, he gave him, gave him his own stuff, man. For sure. And he gave him a little extra, too, right? Like he was Everything a little and a little extra. A little, yeah. bit, little, little a head extra butt, curricular yep. out of bounds, a little mm -hmm. bit of head butt in the center, a lot of finger wagging going on right. in, that, uh, in that match. Um, okay, let's draw it back to the Americans. Okay? Yeah. 57, Igoyev, Thomas Gilman. Yeah, we haven't seen it yet. No. But what we've seen of Igoyev, it is, he is, he's the best guy in the way. He's the I guy so. to beat, right? He's in a, in a, I don't, I don't want to see, I don't want to say that this is the weight with the most parity, but it certainly has some depth, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it's not just a glib. If he doesn't win a gold medal, no one's going to be absolutely yeah. shocked. Yeah. Um, but that said, he has kind of distanced, him, distanced himself over the last couple of years. Um, he, right. He's kind of proven to be the cream. Now, how does that relate to Thomas? Well, it, considering that he's never wrestled him, mm -hmm. he's lost to guys that... that Igoyev has beaten. Yeah, that, yeah. That Igoyev has beaten. Um, and he's supposedly on one bum wheel. Yeah. Doesn't look good for the old uh, red white. Yeah, bum. you favor Igoyev there. For sure. Mm -hmm. um, 65, we don't have a rep, but Rashidov, again, I think this is probably um, the most parity at any weight. I love 65. 65 is just so much fun. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, does that mean that he is definitely going to medal? No. I think that mm -hmm. there's there's a couple different ways that this could shake out. Um, and, you know, he always seems to wrestle Haji Lee first Haji round. Haji yep. <laughs> you know? It's going to be the first round match. Yeah. Sure, first round match. You can bet on it. Uh, but, but it's just, it is what it is. But, you know, Rashidov is tough as it comes. 74. Hmm. Talk to me about Sadakov against Dake. What do you think? And that's that's the match that everybody wants to see. If if we could draw it up, yeah. you make that the, the Olympic final yeah. because it's two guys who have, have beaten Burroughs, you know, kind of took out the king. Sure. And and Dake looks like he is unbeatable 
right now. And he that's what's front and center in our, our minds and sure. American fans' minds. But you you don't want to underestimate a guy who's beaten Burroughs and Chimizo the last two world championships. Yeah, right? the guy is sneaky good. Um, I think I brought it up yesterday. He can change speeds. There's one thing about being fast, right? You go, you go. Uh, Otaguro is super fast for 65, and, hmm. and and yeah, okay, you're right. But there is something to be said for being able to change speeds. And man, Sadakov can change speeds. He can go from kind of lulling you to sleep hmm. to that outside step, high crotch. And um, now that said, I don't see how he can score on Kyle. I yeah. just don't see it right now. Now, mm -hmm. don't get me wrong. I'm not above being a bit of a homer sometimes, right? I mean, right. We, we, we do, we spend a little bit more time with these uh, U.S. athletes. And so, so sure, we are, we, we are a little bit partial. But, man, I just don't see how anybody, uh, not, maybe not anybody, I think, I think Sadakov is going to have a really tough time mm -hmm. scoring on, uh, excuse me, on Dig. Yeah. Chimizo, on the other hand, I think can score on Dig. And we've seen it. Yeah. So, Yep. There's that. Um, okay, 86. I think we kind of went through the fact that David mm -hmm. is a great matchup for Naifano. Yep. 97. It's split. Like, everyone like everyone kind of shakes their head and, and is just giving mm -hmm. Satellite an, another Olympic gold medal. But I'm telling you, Kyle right. Snyder, it, look, if you think he's taking big steps backwards, I think you're wrong. Because um, hmm. certain people... We're saying, well, he didn't play. Okay, fine. But guess what? He doesn't take very many losses. It's just that he happened to take yeah. two in the last in the World Championships. We take for granted how good Snyder is, how good he's been yeah. at the highest level, yeah. and how young he still is. He's, he's really only twenty. Old. He's only twenty-five, yeah. and he's he's won three, you know, three golds, medaled every time. Yep. And if he has anybody on his mind that he wants to wrestle. In Tokyo, Settle. it's Sedge Live, right? Absolutely. He's got a game plan. He knows how to wrestle him. And and that's what we want to see is a six minute match between those two guys again. So how do you like wrestle? we saw in how do you wrestle? 2017. How do you wrestle Sedge Right. He's not getting to his legs very now we did talk we were, we were watching uh, he, he did not have the best weekend. They, they went to the Aliyev. Aliyev, yep. Aliyev. I'm sorry. They went to the Aliyev tournament. Uh Sedge Live got taken. He got, got forward. He got yep. forward. Uh, so how much stock do you put in the fact that he didn't have a great weekend? Yeah. I think shaking off the rust, mm -hmm. is that something you want to do five weeks before <laughs> Tokyo? I don't know. Maybe. Probably. You know, I, I would want to see him in peak form. But sure. how much stock do I put in it? Probably not all that much right. because of who, he's, who he is and what he's done in the past. Um, now I think it shows he's human. I sure. think it shows he looks very he, mortal, man. He can be scored on. Sure. Um, but I think it shows he's still peaking. I agree. Right. Um, so I, I would tend to agree, and it, it, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask the questions, though. Right. right. So. Right. So, looking at it, what it looked like to me was it was, it was a guy who was working on short offense, mm. right? Because you saw him get to that head pinch, saw him get to that chest wrap, and really be kind of gung ho scoring from that position. Um, which tells me he's getting ready for someone's going to attack his legs right. quite a bit, mm -hmm. right? I don't know about you, but that sounds a lot like Kyle Snyder. Um, but the, it also looked the, the the one thing that that would concern me if I was a satellite fan is that he didn't score when he got to legs every time, hmm. right? Uh, the, it, it has been almost well, I can't think of a time where he he got to a leg and didn't score. I saw that a couple times this past weekend, and it was like, okay, it just made me raise my eyebrows. Now, again, hmm. how much stock do we put in that? Not a whole ton, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, Cozy Rip, 125. Is he on the same level as Geno Petrosvili, Taha mm -hmm. Akul? And I think Gable, Gable. Stevenson is yeah. right up there with the top two. Yeah, I'd put, I'd put him a tier behind. Mm -hmm. I, I think if he gets bronze, that's a that's a win for a him. Win. I don't think he can challenge the the top two, the top three, maybe even Zari from Iran. I think he gives him a bunch of trouble. So I would put Gable ahead, 
just from what we've seen, mm -hmm. I want to see more from Gable. I want to see him compete against Taha. I want to see him for you know, years, compete for against years, him. For years upon years upon years, Gable, just so you know, we <laughs> want you to compete at that yeah. level for many years. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so I agree with you. I think, I don't know that he's quite ready for the mm -hmm. top tier heavyweights in the world. Right. Um, so that's interesting to me. So you're looking at 57, 65. They are, Russia is mm -hmm. light years. Kind right. Of, uh, not light years, I shouldn't say that. But they're certainly pitted ahead. They're the them. favorites. Right. They're the favorites there. Yep. Um, 74. 74. I like, I like our squad. Mm -hmm. 86, I like our guy. Mm -hmm. Now 97, the, you got to just assume you gotta the satellite yep. is the favorite. Okay, so that's, for us, that's another one at 125. Looks like it's three to three. Here we go. I, I think the only way to figure this out is to wrestle at the Olympics. Yeah, let's <laughs> do it. Say. Let's do it. All right.